Yeah, got it. There it goes. Okay, awesome. Cool. We're recording. Hey, this is the November NOM Board of Directors meeting. It is Tuesday, November 15th, 6 12 in the evening. Uh, we're here. We got quorum. We're getting started. Uh, we're still waiting on Florian and Michael, who said they would be able to be here. So we, I hope we're able to see them. Uh, but we can certainly do do the thing with Adam if we must. Um, so start of the meeting. Um, j just quick. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody had a fun Halloween. Um, I certainly did. I did a lot of fun stuff. And, but I think we have to call to order, Alex. Oh, we have to call to order. I know it's bringing something. None of your Halloween stuff uh, no. is legal anymore. <laughs> <It's> not... <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> okay. Can we call the meeting to order? Can I get a motion? Uh, call the meeting to order. A motion to call the meeting to order. Seconded. All right. All those in favor? Cool. We've started now. Now we can get into how everyone's Halloweens were. I hope they were good. <laughs> I hope people got to do something fun for Halloween or maybe the weekend prior. It was very nice out. It's not nice anymore. Yikes. It got cold real quick. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It, unless anyone has anything amazing to share about their last month and cool stuff that happened. Just putting it out there as an option. But if you don't, we can get on to... Can we go around and say what we dressed up as? If oh, we sure. We could do that. Um, not to be not to be the kid of the group who dressed up. <laughs> yeah, I dressed up. <laughs> yeah. I went to a Halloween party, so it made sense. Um, but yeah, Nola, what would you dress up as? I was Perry the Platypus, and my friends were like the Phineas and Ferb group. Um, so my friend was Dr. Doofenshmirtz, and then I had two friends who were Phineas and Ferb, and then a friend who was Candace. Nice. I'm glad you got the mad scientist in there. Yeah. <laughs> I was a Sasquatch. Oh, it's it's like blurring no Sasquatch. Like it's, a, like, no it, like, like it's a like it's X-rated. Yeah, it looks like it's X-rated. That's hilarious. <laughs> it, 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 it's Sasquatch Jim, too. You so got to like bring blurry. it back. Bring bring it toward your face. Back. Yeah, yeah, put it in front of your face. Put it in front uh, of your you gotta, face. Yeah, you have to obscure your face because if you don't... Wow, that's interesting. It's right in the plane of my face, but you can't see it. I guess can tell just like... Your face put it in like front that. of your face. Yeah, you but have I don't to, think you have to No, it's like matter. in front of my face right now. Look at it. Yeah, but no, but it's not in front of your face. Like literally in front of your face. There we go. That works. For a technology teacher, you really do not get anything. Wow. I played I played an entire game of pickleball inside the scene. That looks like a bear, not not a yeah, Sasquatch. <laughs> yeah, cheater. Um, cool. I had the plague. No, not actually, not COVID. Like, I don't know. Andrew and I both got like this horrible <laughs> cold, I guess. Which, like, I guess after the pandemic, colds are like really annoying. But um, and so we didn't actually, we stayed home from Halloween, which was a big bummer because I was going to be Miss Trunchable and Andrew was going to be Matilda. So, whoa. Yeah, that oh, fun. that would have been so I good. I was very excited. I was going to wear like a gray sweatshirt with like a belt and like, yeah, it was going to be great. And I have like a unibrow. But anyway, it wasn't meant to be. Maybe next year. Um, my costume was very boring. It was, uh, I bought the, the, the standard bog standard Halloween store makeup kit. And cause my friends had a party and I was like, I gotta do something. I gotta not, I can't just go without doing anything. Um, so I started putting on and I had like an hour before I had to leave. So I thought, Oh, maybe I can do something really fun and creative. And then I started putting it on. I'm like, I've never put on makeup before. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> So uh, I ended up doing the, you know, like corpse face, like really pale, dark shadows under the eyes stuff. And that came out pretty good, but it took me like the whole hour to do that, like very basic thing. Um, and I yeah. like that you were learning a new skill. That's yeah, 
was I really just jumped in thinking it wouldn't be that hard and then I was like oh no I don't know what I'm doing uh but yeah that went well and then I got to the party and like I don't want to say half but maybe a good third of the guests didn't bother to dress up and I was like well got one up on some of these people <laughs> oh Tim oh Tim 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 yeah Where'd your hair me go? I don't know. Tim is here. Great. Hey, Tim. Uh, Tim, we're just talking about what we dressed up as for Halloween. That was our fun beginning of the meeting thing we've been doing. <laughs> oh, okay. I dressed up as uh, <laughs> I dressed up as little old me, Lamar. That's who I dressed up as. And I know you don't know who that is. I know you know who that is. It's the one black dude in the Karate Kid. He also played the black dude in Revenge of the Nerds. Oh. And then he was a guy in the rap that was like, you know, they did the rap, the nerd rap. And he was like in a rap by little old me, Lamar. So that's why I always call him. No matter what movie he is, he's in, I always call him little old me, Lamar. So that's who I dress up as. <laughs> cool. <laughs> do you know? Do you know his raps? He did the he did the, the Revenge of the Nerds rap. The Revenge of the Nerds rap. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. Can so you impressive. do the rap? You know the rap? Oh, can I do the rap? No, no, I just no, no. But I'm gonna do it this Friday. Cause when we when we go um when we do the villain show, when we do the Forbidden Comedy villain show. I'm gonna dress up as you know. I'm gonna dress up as him again. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the rap then. I'm gonna know it by then. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Well, now that we've all talked about our Halloween costumes, uh, let's talk about the date and time of the next meeting. Wow. Uh, so, <laughs> pulling up my calendar here. If we're look yeah, so the second Tuesday is December 13th. Yep. Which looks fine to me. Yeah, how is that uh, looking to everybody else? Say that one more time. December 13th. I think that works. I, I might have to... Uh... I'm gonna have to get back to us a little bit later. I have to uh, do my um, dissertation proposal defense thing. So it might not be a good date for me, but I don't know yet because I have to wait for people to get back to me. Yeah, I don't, I think I could probably do it. It might be up in the air. Um, my job schedule might be changing. So, and like I work in the evenings, so I don't know, but like probably yes. Okay. So I think, uh, yeah, Tim, how does the 13th sound to you? I know you're like getting out of your car, but. <laughs> mm, I cannot hear you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, oh, yeah. that date works for me. I'm sorry. Okay, cool. Great. Presumably, would that be the annual meeting as well? Uh, probably. We're gonna, yeah, that's that's very likely. I think we're gonna talk a little bit about annual meeting stuff later, but okay, uh, yeah, that will probably. Be how that goes down. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, I think uh, the 13th is a tentative, and we'll see if that has to move around, depending on the meeting. Uh, all right, let's talk really briefly about the minutes from September, or October, rather. Should have changed that. 
Oh, thank you for posting the October minutes. So there uh, they are. There they are. We're as as Al told us, we don't actually need to go through everything that happened. I never knew it could be so easy as just saying, "Hey, is everyone cool with the minutes?" But uh, yeah. So let's see here. Yeah, did anybody have any questions about anything we went over last meeting, things from the minutes that were weird to them, anything like that? Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, uh, I would like someone to motion to approve the minutes from October. A motion to approve them. Second. 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 Okay. Uh, all those in favor of approving the NAM October minutes, say aye or raise your hand. Uh, Very cool. All right. The minutes from the previous meeting are approved. Uh, let's move to our next item. The director's report. Al is not with us today. Unfortunately, he's on vacation. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to briefly go through his director's report bullet point list, which is pretty short. Uh, I will post it in the chat. It is also in the email chain that got sent to everybody when we were talking about this meeting. So there's the Google Doc. Recording progress. There we go. <laughs> oh, wait, that's me. That is me. You have two two audio sources I'll bouncing off each other. There we go. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, all right. So for the director's report, uh, let's see. The first point that Al has in here is that they have brought on former employee Jen Ramsey to do some emergency freelance work for NAM in the next month or so until their hiring process is complete. She will help with some government coverage, production backup, and programming during that time. For those unfamiliar, Jen uh, worked for the station for many years and was an awesome employee. Uh, so, and also, as we know, uh, Liz had left, so they're a little shorthanded. Um, it seems great to me, I'm happy about it. I'll, I gotta stop down there and see if I can run into Jen because I haven't talked to her in forever. Uh, let's see. Second point, uh, while we wait for the installation of uh, the new system inside of JFK, uh, they're building a temporary system uh, whenever school committee meets uh, so they can conduct the hybrid meetings. Uh, the first one they're doing that with is on this Thursday night, but I think these we were originally going to have this meeting last week and then it got pushed. So I assume that all the stuff that this is referring to, at least that kind of thing, has already happened. So it would have been last Thursday that they did this. So, I mean, that makes sense. Uh, we heard the, or they held the premiere of Crowdsource Cinema last month. Close to 400 people attended at the Academy of Music. Uh, everybody had a good time. The audience was laughing and cheering through the film. And the energy was exciting, communal, and celebratory. Uh, the film was great, and uh, they had a new $100 a month Patreon supporter who signed up right after watching the film live. Nice. Uh, um, and Al had a meeting uh, last week with Crowdsourced Vermont to talk about next year's project. So cool. I mean, it's great to see that that's still being super successful and people are really into it, and um, it's getting Nam some uh, donations. Awesome. Uh, let's see here. For further meetings, the plan for NOM currently uh, will be relocated to 380 Elm Street, the high school, uh, fully for the duration of March 1st through uh, December 31st. This is in 2023. Uh, they're going to start the move in in January, at the beginning of the year. Uh, and Al will be confirming what he expects to be a new rent policy for 2023 with the arts board for that time at a general meeting 
Uh, again, this is Thursday, so I assume this happened last week, and you might actually know the results of that now. Uh, let's see. They, oh, the employee search that they're doing uh, currently is going well. They have a number of excellent candidates, and they'll be contacting them this week. Again, last week, uh, they contacted some, and uh, hopefully conducting interviews at the beginning of December, so after Al gets back from vacation. That's cool. Good to hear. And uh, they held, oh, yeah, so there's a board retreat uh, in at the very end of October. Uh, we got a bunch of work done, and we had a fun time, and it was very positive and productive, says Al. And um, we're going to talk about that a little later in this meeting. And let's see, Nam produced the Peter Schultz tribute live stream from the workroom, the Northampton Adult Spelling Bee, and numerous government meetings in the past month. And uh, grant applications are open through next week, uh, so through this week, uh, and have a number of excellent projects already. And uh, they will begin the process of awarding them in the first week of December, again, when Al returns from vacation. So uh, a lot of good news. The station's been productive. Lots of stuff has been happening. Had a great crowdsource showing. Um, they're a little shorthanded, but they're, you know, well on the road to having another employee and they have someone to fill in before they get that other employee in. So, yeah, everything seems to be going real well. Uh, any of those points that anyone wants to discuss from the director's report? Nope. Everybody happy? Cool. All righty then. Our next topic was some financial stuff because Al had uh, sent us a financial document. I went in being like, I don't know too much about this financial document, but that's okay because Florian said he was going to be at the meeting and he'll know all the stuff about the financial document, but then Florian didn't show up. <laughs> So I'm going to post a link to the financial document, which is now in chat, so people can take a look at that. I don't really know what to discuss with it, and I feel like we're probably just going to end up discussing more stuff when Al is with us again. Uh, but it's the kind of stuff that we've been looking at should we over just, the past. Should we just days. move this agenda item to December? I think, we, I think that's probably the best idea, because I don't okay. know the best way to cover it um, yeah. other than... Because it's Here's not it's document. not even an outline. It's like the whole budget. Yeah. So, Leah, like right now I'm going to say, here's the budget. You can take a look at it and definitely look it over to see if you find anything you want to discuss with Al and or Florian for the next meeting. So, you got access to it. Okay. Let's see here. The next item. Uh, oh, it's just a recap of the workshop, which we did. Um, uh, everybody here was at it except for Nola. Um, and Nola, you were doing like college search stuff, right? Nola, was that what you were doing that day? Well, that's cool. I hope that went well. Um, but yeah, those I, got, us... I got two applications in. So sweet. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, so those of us there, we had a lot of fun um, to give a quick a recap of it. Uh, it was a lot of policy procedure write-ups interspersed with playing uh, the board game uh, House of Danger, which Jeremy likes so much he bought for his class. So you know, I'd, I'd say it was a success. <laughs> Nola's like, what? <laughs> we don't have any um, time for board games. In I haven't class. gotten to play that game, Jeremy. <laughs> Yeah, that's only for my intro classes. Sorry. Oh no. Uh, it's cool. It's um, yeah, it's like a like a choose your own adventure. Um, like one of those old choose your own adventure books, but as a as a sort of board slash card game. And yeah, you just sort of investigate this really weird house, and there's like psychedelic elements to it. We we fought uh clown dolls with our psychic powers at one point. Uh. <laughs> so it's basically stuff. like dungeons and dragons like it's uh, kind of like that a little bit it's it's far simpler um and because it's choose your own adventure and it's like set i mean it it's based off a book that came out in 1982 and it's set in the modern day so it's set in 1982 um but uh yeah you play a an amateur um psychic detective 
trying to investigate this weird like haunted house and you think like someone's trapped there and you're trying to save them and you have to like use your psychic powers to defeat ghosts and stuff it's and fight monkeys too we also fought a monkey with a monocle which was pretty cool (laughs) so so that was like half the workshop was us playing that and then we cut that into hour-long chunks and then the other half the other hour chunks were us working on the board policies and we got a ton of stuff done on the board policies that document is still pretty uh so i like draft ask right i actually don't do i have it in front of me uh let me see here because i might i might i might no i don't if anybody has the board policies document in front of them and would like to post it in chat uh feel free to do so but you know not necessary uh but we got oh wait i do have it it was in on a sleep tab here it is yeah yep okay i'm gonna post this hey there's florian hello sorry for that i honestly didn't realize we had a meeting today <laughs> no other information was not the that's best. kind of how it happened to me last week and i feel really bad i was i'm sorry about that i just totally spaced so it happens to the best of us <laughs> thanks <a lot. laughs> thank you Melissa. So I just posted uh, the board policies doc. Uh, Florian, we're at the agenda item of uh, the workshop recap right now. Okay. Uh, though it, I might go back to the financial stuff thing if you have anything specific to say on it. But uh, yeah, just to talk a little bit about what we were doing at the um, board retreat. Uh, we have the policies thing. So the stuff that we hammered out for the policies doc is we talked about uh, we we fleshed out some more the yearly task calendar which is basically just talking about when things happen and when we should start planning them or thinking about like what we should be doing for them uh we talked about what, some financial policy stuff which was cool we like split into groups um we formalized the procedure that we usually do at meetings in the document so now that'll be a thing going forward that people will have as guidelines and we also talked about the uh, duties of different officers so getting a little more specific than the kind of stuff you see in the bylaws just so again it's like okay now people who are coming into these positions will be able to look at this and be like oh those are the things that i do on like a month-to-month basis and yeah it was good and then we sort of outlined some other sections we're going to work on some more but yeah got uh, probably i don't know like doubled tripled the length of this document got a lot of great info in here and so i was super happy with it it's definitely going to take some more passes to finish but it's really coming along so yeah did anyone have any questions i guess specifically um nola because you weren't there did you have any questions about the workshop or the policies document or anything that we were doing there. No, it all sounds good. Sounds fun. I'm sorry I couldn't make it. All right. So I'm going to bounce back to. I, I, I feel oh. thrown in, but I, uh, at this point, I wanted to say thank you for a great workshop. Like I really enjoyed it in, in all the aspects. I think we got uh, something done. Uh, thank you for putting the agenda together, Alex. And I hope we can make this. Uh, I don't know, half, every half year, every year at least, that we have yeah. this on the regular. It was an, and it was obviously nice to meet everyone in person. And... <laughs> well, yeah, especially since we always have our meetings virtually, right? But yep. uh, it was really cool to see everybody in person. Uh, we, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm firmly of the belief that if we do a little bit more maybe like one more session worth of brainstorming on that policies document we could probably have enough in it that we could just have someone actually like go through and edit it and polish it up and finish it uh if we can just like you know if we got people together one more time and gave another good run at it uh but that's not something i want to talk about right now because (laughs) that'll be this is in the future uh (laughs) But thanks. I, I'm glad everybody had fun. Uh, let's see here. So financial documentation things. Um, Florian, I don't know if you have anything to talk about on this. Al had sent us the budget. 
um, but I didn't know what specifically about the budget he wanted to discuss. So if you knew any of those specific things, feel free to bring them up. If not, we can just move on. But uh, that, you might have some insight there. No, uh, we were meeting once to, to start it. I think the idea was to get it in front of the board to have the discussion around it. Uh, I haven't seen the, the latest draft. My my travel week last week threw me a little bit off, so I'm I, I wasn't in contact with him before he left. Okay. Um, I think the goal is still that we have it approved in December. Sure. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. The budget is public knowledge. Like I can put it in the minute. I could link to it in the minutes. Is that true? Is that true? Uh, I believe so. I think so. Yeah. Okay. It, 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 maybe not the, I think the main, the, the, the main things in there is oh, it's like, yeah, no, I, I, yes, I think, I believe I think that. Public. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to link to it in these minutes that are technically public. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. So what I was saying, Florian, before you arrived about the budget is just like, you know, Al sent it to us. We have the current version of it. It's in the email chain. I also posted it in chat here. I can post it again because obviously you work here to get that chat message. Uh, but um, I just want everyone to look over it to make sure it looks good to them so that at the next meeting we can uh, discuss it at more length with Al. Yeah, I think the, the main issue, I don't know if this, uh, this will not have come up, is um, compensation increase, what the board thinks about how we should handle this this year. Um, I, I, I think Elle should have the, the initiation of the discussion and then I, I we take it from there. Okay. Um, good. That, uh, yeah, we had a good conversation around that. and. Um, yeah. Uh, other than that, the review, the audit is going on. Like, there's nothing. We, L is answering question, and it's going a little bit back and forth. So this is this is on track. I don't know exactly when when it has to be officially finished, but I think we have. Uh, yeah, I think there's time as well. Nice. For context, uh, this is earlier than we usually get it. So that's awesome. Oh, the budget, yeah. <laughs> We're working in it. Uh, okay, so my next big agenda item is I wanted to have uh, two formal votes. We had tried to hold some votes via email, and we kind of realized, and this was last month, two months ago, uh, we kind of realized that, like, uh, not only did not everyone vote in them but i think in one of them there was like the email prompted a lot of discussion about the topic which is usually like if you're going to have a bunch of discussion about the topic you should just have that discussion at a meeting uh the point of doing a vote over email is when like people already basically agree on what's going to go on with this thing and you just need the thumbs up from the board right uh so i wanted to put these two things to a vote, a vote. the first one and probably the I mean, they're both pretty straightforward, but the first one is the uh, Cynthia. Oh, I don't have her last name in front of me now, but Cynthia, a member of NOM. Stanton. Uh, yeah. Uh, being proposed as the Arts Trust uh, board pick from the NOM board. So is that something that everybody can get behind? Um, We've discussed it at length on previous meetings. I think everyone's pretty cool with just the fact that we could find someone to be on the arts board so that none of us have to do it, which was a big part of it. Um, but Cynthia was also like, uh, at least from what Al had been saying when he discussed it with her, pretty pretty interested in doing that. So uh, yeah, we basically just need uh, a motion to vote to make it official that she is our rep for the Arts Trust Board. Um, so unless anybody has any questions about that, Feel free to make a motion to to vote on it. Move the motion. Uh, move a motion. I don't know what's the correct phrasing. I, a, a motion to select Cynthia for the arts as as our board member. I don't know what's the board representative. I think. Uh, as our board representative. Yes. I second. Cool. All right. 
All those in favor, say aye or raise your hand. All right, very good. So that has officially happened. This is an historic moment. <laughs> so now we finally we've got our uh, arts trust person. Uh, okay, the second thing was uh, former employee Liz. Why didn't I write down the last names of these people in the agenda? I should have. Um, Walbur. Walber. I was going to say Wambler, but that's not right. Walber. Liz Walber, uh, former employee. Uh, Al had suggested gifting her her work laptop. Uh, this was because that laptop was up for replenishment. So now I wasn't going to hang on to it anyway. It's an older laptop. Um, and, you know, it just seemed like to him a nice parting gift. So, yeah, it kind of doesn't cost the station anything. And it's a nice gesture. And since Liz was leaving on really good terms with the station, it seemed like a nice thing to do uh, as a thank you for all the great work that she's done. So, yeah. Um, did we want to... That, that also... So I think that was the one that got discussed significantly via email. But if anyone wants to, to discuss that before we vote on it, feel free to do so. But if not, um, we can... Uh, I don't have the email chain... Uh, yeah, the question where what's the tax implication? Like, wh what were the two questions we wanted to cl clarify? Um, let's see here. The I can tell you one thing we decided during our workshop. Uh, email chains now get archived in the Google Drive. So we should be able to bring that up and then link it. Uh, I just need to remember where in the Google Drive it is, <laughs> which... I think it's uh, under minutes. I think or, so too. Yeah. My computer's being a little slow, but I will hopefully have it open in a moment. Yeah, yeah a it is under minutes. So it's non board directors and then the year 2022. And then um, there's a folder for minutes, and it obviously has all the minutes in it. And in there is a folder entitled email correspondence. And it has PDFs of the printout of like printouts of those email chains. So we have all of that public. I'm going to link to the, I think this is just to the folder itself uh, in Zoom chat, but we can look through that. Um, so uh, initial email, Al says that Liz is leaving. Um, they left on great terms and yeah, which one is the email where they actually talk about the lap? Oh, no, that's the, that's just the Liz resigning email. I'm sorry. The Liz laptop email. Is yeah. Okay. So it says, yeah, um, the purchase. It says a six-year-old computer in this mm -hmm. setting is actually pretty impressive. Um, tax implications. Um, Jeremy says that, so basically Al confirmed that it doesn't have any paid software licenses. They're going to reset all the passwords for that. But your answer wasn't, I mean, your question, it looks like wasn't answered um by al he said that he was asking the accountant your question but then never got back to us yeah i think that's still open yeah okay uh well if you want to um put off the vote on this barring the i honestly info. think uh we can vote on it because there's for norm the text implication we just have to do it the right way that's the important thing Okay. Uh, so I would just vote for it under the condition that uh, that the tech part is taken care of. Okay. And cool. then then L can decide: is it does it work or doesn't it work? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, yeah, Melissa, definitely make a note of that in the minutes. Okay. So um, I'm gonna say uh, under the condition that we figure out taxes with the accountant, and that's what the vote is for. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. So yeah, uh, all those in favor of gifting Liz her work laptop, or I'm sorry, can I get a motion to uh, to gift Liz with her former work laptop? I motion to gift Liz with her former laptop. Very good. I mean, her laptop. No. I second. 
Cool. Okay. All those in favor, uh, say aye or raise your hand. Aye. Cool. All right. Passed. Wait, who seconds it? Al. Uh, uh, seconded. I, I seconded. Uh, all right. Now, the final thing of the evening. Uh, we had a special party planning committee that got together this past, past month to figure out what's happening for the annual meeting. It was Jeremy and Melissa. What have they decided? I'm I'm on the edge of my seat. Take it away, <laughs> one of you two. <laughs> oh, no. Well, we didn't really follow through. Um, but uh, we definitely can in the next, we can find a time Soon, I'm pretty available this week, Jeremy, if you are. Uh, I'm sure it won't take long. And uh, we'll get back to you. Oof. You had an extra week, too. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> you had all the time in the world. <laughs> I know. We had way too much time. Um, uh, yeah. Maybe, what do you think, like, Jeremy? One thing is we need a date for the event. Yeah. That, well, that, that would be good to, to get on the calendar. That yeah. Uh, it would be it would obviously be great if as many board members could be there possible for sure so we were discussing at the beginning of this meeting right when we're going to have our december meeting and typically the december meeting coincides with ah, okay that meeting. is two two meetings uh, so back back. yeah so we had been talking about if we're going to have our our board meeting at the normal time of the month that we have it it would be december 13th so does it make sense to have the annual meeting that day which is a tuesday do we want to have it like maybe at a different time that week uh because i feel like having it at that point in december is pro should probably work right because it's before a lot of people are off for the holidays uh yeah like uh, yeah I that, i mean we had a few if iffy people for the 13th but that works that always works well i think personally yeah. like uh, which meeting is first the the board meeting is typically first and then yeah. that transitions into so the, the annual meeting would be around seven mm -hmm. on um the 13th as it's a big party do we need more time in between to, <laughs> to prepare anything I don't know, but um, uh, well, if we're meeting in person, oh, that's true because we have longer board meetings now. Well, maybe we want it at seven thirty. Might be good. Like we have the budget open, and that might be a little bit more discussion. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah because um, usually we do that in January for some reason, but yeah. So if we're definitely if we're doing the budget, we'd want it to be at seven thirty. I would say. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, another thing to consider about uh, the date that it's happening. If we wanted to have it later in that week, for the sake of being like on a Friday night to get more people to come out to it, I think that's something worth considering. I just don't know how people feel about that. Uh, that would be the 16th. Yeah, I, I like I like that idea. We've also looked at partnering with, we might want to just peep the calendar of things that are going on in uh, the Arch Trust building. Mm, for sure. Um, because we, we've in the past kind of like had our thing and then like melded into another thing and that was kind of good. Yeah, if you have uh, that calendar in front of you, I assume I'm that I could go to their right website now. and find it, but I do not have it at my fingertips right now. Um, oh, we got cat, cat on camera. Oh no, come on. I got the allowed. calendar for everybody in the chat. <laughs> You're not allowed on the table. <laughs> Sassy cat. Okay, thank you for posting that. Uh, 
um, looks like there is a, a holiday celebration in the flex space on the 16th. Which one is the flex space? Is this the big one? Yeah, I think so. The one upstairs. Oh. It's the one um, like on the like one floor up. Mm -hmm. And when you go in the main doors, like to your right. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I don't imagine just knowing historic turnout. And since this isn't like a, you know, a, um, it isn't like a anniversary celebration or rebranding or something. I don't think there'll be a ton of people. So I think just having it in our space is probably fine. Yeah, no, I think that's... Oh, and that it's kind of nice, but is, is this celebration where I'm trying to read about it? It is. Uh, is it it's at 7.30. Um, is it a party? It is a performance. Okay. So it's uh, there's a theater group that's, pre that's doing wow. the performance. Okay, yeah. Hmm. I wonder if we'd... Yeah, I guess they wouldn't really join the only possibility I was thinking is if we had the annual meeting at like 6 30 so then potentially people could go to that that would be cool yeah if we push the board meeting a little earlier yeah um, which I can on Fridays I can do but I don't know about the rest of the group we could also uh we should also probably probably learn a little bit about the details of the thing <laughs> all of a sudden it's like some sort of like it's like reserved for like some evangelicals. That's true. Or it's like little, it's like a bunch of little kids. Yeah. It's creepy if a bunch of people showed up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, but I mean, we could also kind of put together a little, like a couple of things. I know that there's student productions that would be cool to show. Like we can make it our own. We've done in the past. I mean, it all comes down to how much we want to actually, um, how much we want to plan and how big we want to get it. Like we've we've talked in the past about and had like bands and stuff like that. Um, you know, holidays are a really crazy time for, um, for people. So it might not. It might be more of like a low key thing. Uh, but you know. No, for sure. I think that's why definitely you don't want to have it like any later in the month than that week. Mm -hmm. What would you consider a success in terms of how many people show up? Okay, wait, it says the the other show is eight performers will harmonize and pay homage to traditional and contemporary holiday music. Be filled with the spirit of the holidays. But that, I guess it doesn't say if it's religious, though. I'm trying to figure it yeah. out. Um, I would say, I don't know. What do you think, Jeremy? Like 20? <laughs> yeah, like 20 I've or seen, 30. I've seen, too, yeah. yeah, I've seen 30 people show up, and I've seen like five people show up. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like, you know, like it's not, it's it, if, it, if it's not coupled with an event, it's not a, it, it doesn't draw out the numbers. <laughs> if it's so. not, I mean, we could make it like, we, uh, Jeremy and I can um, push like a meet and greet aspect to it or whatever, but like, so I can imagine drumming up like maybe 20 people. But if we don't do that, if we're just like, this is the annual meeting and advertise it that way, there'll be like maybe two people there, I would say. Is, yeah. there, is there any formal things happening? Formal? Yeah, like yeah. is there anything, any votes we have to do? Is there anything we have to, like the, the question is like you were talking about meet and greet. Are we, we could also meet at another place where we, I don't know, at the brewery, something like that. Oh then yeah, I see what you're saying. It's a, a meet and greet with the board. That sounds stupid, but the, you know what I mean? Like that people get together and, and, and meet each other and um, something like that. Oh yeah, that could be more. Well, yeah, I mean, we ha can have wine and stuff there, I think, or at least we did for that one thing, but maybe that was, they got like a special license. Jeremy, do you remember? Well, did you talk about when we did it at the Arts Trust? Yeah. 
Yeah, we had to apply for a for a single liquor day or uh, oh, liquor yeah, license yeah. for a single day. Yeah, it wasn't so hard. And Al look. is uh, serve safe um, certified, so um, okay, it's, well, it's definitely a possibility. How about we do this? What if, what if Jeremy and I right now over text or whatever figure out a time to actually meet about this, and we go forward thinking about uh, thinking that it's at it's December thirteenth. So we at least have the date or actually I liked the idea of the 16th. What do people think about that? Like, I don't think the event which is taking place, this seems like a seated performance. Goes oh yeah. I don't think that'll draw people. No, no, no. I mean, and I it's also like, it's a little bit anticlimactic. Oh, we are talking to each other and then we're going into a performance where everyone is sitting and like it's, it's I don't, I, the question is, what is the goal? If we just want to hang out together and, and get to know each other, it's counterproductive, or it might be. Yeah, the the way I, I like Florian's suggestion of, especially if it's going to be a really low-key thing, of just, like, going to, like, a restaurant and having a couple of tables reserved and, like, chilling out with the board and inviting members to come and hang out with us and we talk about stuff and eat, right? Uh so I think that's a good route to go. Or if you want to go the route that like Jeremy was talking about of putting together some video compilations and stuff, that would be something we need to use our space for mm -hmm. um, because you're not going to need the projector and uh, some more space. So I feel like it could go either of those ways. If you want to go the restaurant lower key way, that wouldn't really require very much advertising. We could just have um al send out like a you know notification to the members being like hey stop by um our sort of informal annual meeting say hi to the board have some food at at whatever restaurant um but if you want to do something with videos and like a little bigger in our space i would say that would be something we would probably need to promote a little harder um i think those are t in my mind those are the two tracks that are forming for us and i don't have a preference either way i think they could both be really fun but i think that's just something i mean i'll leave it up to jeremy and melissa to decide which um they would prefer honestly if we could get something like if we could do a like like a parlor room type focus locus type you know hour of stuff we got content that we can show uh, from this, from NHS um, that is, you know, through the collaboration stuff that they made with Northampton Open Media Gear. I'm sure that uh, that we're tapped in. There's certain stuff that Northampton Open Media has uh, filmed and producers have filmed. And then if people's stuff is getting shown, they'll probably bring themselves and their kind of friends. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So like an hour variety show um would be are we gonna ask dope. the staff to put that together jeremy or what uh well, i mean i could i could easily get uh yeah. you know 20 minutes of stuff from uh and if it's just sending a couple of things over like i do yeah. i do the north Ham the nhs and the uh nom film festival and i just make kind of like a uh like i put it all into premiere pro and then i throw in some, slap in some titles so it's not that much work. I could do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we just what need if, some, yeah, good. Well, here, here's what I'm thinking. What if, um, I like this idea, especially because at least as of pre-pandemic, the parlor room was BYOB. Um, so that solves that as well. So, but I, but we almost definitely won't be able to get it a Friday, but Tuesday is usually a day that they can do. So what if we say, what if we keep the date the 13th and just optimistically think right now in our minds that we would like to get the parlor room and then you and I pursue that? Yeah. Okay. And then we can, and we'll try, I don't know, I think the sooner the better because once this meeting gets away from me then I don't think about it very much until next month. So let's try to, we'll nail that down by like the end of the week, Jeremy, we'll try. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Like cool. Okay. Great. Okay. And if we're going to be doing um, a bigger venue like that and we need to promote more, definitely keep us posted and we can make sure that we're spreading the word around and, and that Al is um, up to date for when he gets back. 
Okay. Very cool. That will be exciting. Yeah. Um, but all right. I mean, with that, that's that's all the stuff that I wanted to discuss. Um, cool. Perfect timing. I actually got to get going. Um, so I'll talk to uh, Melissa. We'll text and uh, well, and we'll figure that out. I have time on Friday. I, I have time on Saturday, and then next week is pretty open. This week okay. is kind of crazy. I'm producing the uh, the Young and Heart 40th anniversary show. Okay, cool. Well, um, what about I? I can because I've liaised with the uh, parlor room before, so I can maybe send an email and check in about that. Okay. Um, and what I'll do is I'll compile some stuff um, on our end from just students, maybe 15, 20 minutes of student stuff. And cool. then I'll, I'll talk to Al. Al's not back until December 2nd, but I can start getting the, the pieces together from, from producers and stuff. Okay, cool. That sounds good. Um, so we'll text about it, but yeah, that sounds cool. good. That's good next steps. Sweet. All right, y'all. Right. I got a jet. I'll see well, you later. Gonna, can I just Bye. adjourn real quick? Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right, uh, can I get a motion to adjourn? Adjourn. All right, can I get a second? Second. All right, all those in favor of adjourning the November meeting, raise your hand or say aye. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, peace out. Bye. Bye. Bye, thank you.